Space Shuttle Discovery, taking the space station to full power for full science. This is Mission Control Houston. Imagine a world where the skies are painted in hues of red and orange, and the ground beneath your feet is covered in ancient dust. For decades, Mars has captivated the imagination of scientists. But what if I tell you that this distant alien world might not just be the stuff of science fiction, but a real destination for humanity? NASA, the organization that brought you the moon landing, is setting its sights on a new frontier for the past 60 years. Mars. But why is the red planet the next big thing for space exploration? In this video, we'll uncover the secrets behind NASA's ambitious plan to colonize Mars and explore the science technology, and the profound implications of what it means to make Mars our second home. So keep watching our channel, The Curious Corner. In the first century before the Christian era, ancient Greeks were used to observe the planets from the ground with their naked eye. These planets were among the brightest objects in the night sky and can be distinguished from the stars. The Greeks were well aware that they are not some ordinary stars, and when the knowledge was passed over to the generations, the ancient Romans identified them as planets, distant worlds far from ours. They even named the four major planets after their gods, which we know till now. 1700 years later, in the 17th century, astronomers invented advanced telescopes and built observatories to observe these planets, in which the planet Mars gained their attention because of seasonal changes, such as the growth and shrinking of polar ice caps and color changes on the surface, suggesting that Mars might have a dynamic climate. In the 19th century, Astronomers mapped features on Mars after detailed observation. They noted the presence of what appeared to be canals on Mars, suggesting a possibility of extraterrestrial life on the planet. The polarized caps similar to Earth's indicated the presence of water, which is crucial for life. When these features were mapped, Mars gained significant attention from NASA and the space race between the United States and the Soviet Union provided motivation for both countries to explore Mars. And finally, after three failed attempts, NASA successfully sent a spacecraft to Mars. It took almost an year for the first spacecraft named Mariner 4 to reach Mars, which was primarily designed to conduct the first successful flyby of Mars and return close-up images of the Martian surface. The mission objectives included were photographic imaging, atmospheric analysis, magnetic field detection, radiation measurement, and surface analysis. The Mariner 4 achieved these objectives and sent back 21 images, dispelling the notion of canals. Although after some months, the connection with the Mariner 4 was terminated when a meteorite had fell on it, but the curiosity continues. From 1960 to 2021, NASA sent almost 10 spacecrafts again, confirming the presence of water ice, hydrogen, carbon dioxide, and dust storms. The scientists were amazed to know that 38% of Earth-like gravity exists on Mars, and evidence of past life in ancient rivers were also found. 
although no life was seen. But the most fascinating fact was below the Martian surface, subsurface caves, lava tubes, or even below the ice caps, there were potential hiding spots protected from harsh surface conditions like radiation, extreme temperatures, and dust storms. There are deep canyons on Mars. Those are much larger than the Grand Canyon on Earth. They stretch over 4,000 kilometers long and up to 7 kilometers deep. This vast and complex canyon system could indeed be a prime location for hiding. These areas may offer some protection from the harmful elements and might have geological features that could support life. If extraterrestrial life would have ever existed on Mars, the astronomers are 100% sure that they would be hiding there, as these spots were ideal for living. But robots cannot invade into these spots, so there are ongoing plans and discussions about sending humans to Mars in the near future. With agencies like NASA and private companies like SpaceX working on the necessary technology. People like Bill Nelson and Elon Musk have indeed expressed concerns about the finite nature of Earth's resources and the long-term sustainability of human civilization. Elon Musk is more vocal about the necessity of becoming a multi-planetary species than NASA. He argues that humanity must establish a presence on Mars to ensure long-term survival in case of catastrophic events on Earth. Musk envisions SpaceX playing a crucial role in making Mars colonization feasible through the development of reusable rockets and spacecrafts like Starship. Both SpaceX and NASA are currently working on overcoming difficulties, such as the changes in atmosphere on Mars, radiation, low air pressure, and scarce liquid water. They both are involved in research and development related to agriculture for Mars, so humans should be able to grow food there. Plannings for sustainable habitats, energy supply, and infrastructure are also in process. Most probably after a few decades, the imagination of colonization could become a reality. But what if extraterrestrial life exist on Mars. Will they accept the intruders on their planet or be hostile towards human race? In preparation for potential encounters, planetary protection protocols are in place to prevent contamination of extraterrestrial environments and protect Earth's biosphere. These protocols would guide that how missions will be conducted and how any discovered life forms will be handled. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe our channel, The Curious Corner.